Hello, Paul here, and uh, I'm excited to share with you the process of making this piece of art. Here I am in Photoshop, and all these layers are just renders. I actually rendered this stuff out in Cinema 4D. You got the wings, got these exploding rocks and statues revealing the skull. You can see all the renderings right here. And uh, I'll also use uh, like Mid Journey for inspiration, right? Which is new to me. Um, but essentially I just did a rugged natural landscape exploding. Since I already had the concept, I kind of wanted to see sort of like what AI would do with uh, just what, what I was uh, designing. So kind of ended up with that, some, some grounds exploding and just all these uh, like cool environments ultimately, right? So was into those, a uh, couple of cool pieces that I could maybe use and I just kind of use that for inspiration really. Um, so kind of with that in mind, uh, running my own prompts, uh, from there, I'll go ahead and, uh, start to use some of those pieces and, uh, some of the renders. And really it's just all about browsing, grabbing those assets, just using the script that loads everything into layers and kind of go through, through those and maybe using those as a background. Cause I kind of really didn't have a background, uh, at the time. So dropping them back there. I also have this piece of art. I already had exploding rocks. So let's use that, uh, that design that I created and bring all those rocks over. Pulling from AI, uh, maybe using one of those as a background. I'm not sure, but I just liked that whole, the whole concept. Now it's just a matter of matching that content, making sure it fits that environment, giving it that uh, yellow gold glow, painting accordingly with brush, right? Tweaking the color using adjustment layers and just kind of cutting up all these renders and piecing everything together and then creating that nice depth of field that I saw, right? So uh, using those rocks, spacing them out, colorizing them, making it all feel like it's within one space. And it's just a lot of cleanup, mainly in, in Photoshop, you know, grabbing what works and uh, just a lot of that manual labor. Ultimately, I just liked these rocks and uh, didn't really end up using a whole lot from AI, just some stuff in the background. I'll add some flames, just playing with a blend mode. Typically, uh, usually using screen will get rid of black, but still keep all the color and just get this cool glow. And really, ultimately, I'm making just like a still image. And that's what I have here. I will play with uh, color lookup tables just to see if uh, I get a cool look out of it. I'm kind of end up with something like this. And since this design has so much motion with it already, I decided to take it into After Effects. So sort of smashing the main layers together, simplifying that PSD, bringing it into After Effects, everything on its own layer, and then just playing with the position. So it's 15 second animation, adding the position keyframe at the beginning, adding one at the end, right? And moving everything down at a different rate. Everything that's closer to you is gonna move faster. If it's further away, it's moving um, slower, and that's how I'd start to composite that together. And let's make sure some of these rocks twirl and move in interesting ways. I decided to also have some flames animated. So I went out to Adobe Stock, found some cool flames that I could use. And by the way, those are free flames. So drop those in there, set the same uh, layer blend mode, set that to screen, replace the flames that were in there earlier and uh, let them do their thing. Slow it down, slow down the video footage since it is kind of in slow motion and I want it to match. And bending that using the Bezier Warp um, filter. Then I'll grab some just specks of dust and some embers falling as well, dropping those in there. Still changing the blend mode to maybe screen. Using some of that just adds a lot of depth to it and we'll go ahead and render it out. And there is our final. Hopefully you appreciated this behind the scenes. Let me know if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching.